daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Washington Nationals and the Kansas City Royals. We've got an excellent matchup on our hands in this one. Two of the league's craftiest starters go head to head next. Oral Hershiser is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Kansas City. Dan act what's the word on him? Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. In now, Adam Eaton. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. And it's fouled away. Our temperature hot but not overly hot 87 degrees here at first pitch. Here's the one and one delivery. Tries to drag his way on here but now he's behind one and two. Lifted the other way to left center. Therefore it is Griffey and that's out number one. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Danny, any thoughts? Yeah, Matt, I'm really excited to see what Ryan Zimmerman has in store. This guy hit over 300 last year, and man, it was impressive. Just hitting over 300 is really something special to look at. He's a consistent hitter. I love watching his approach. He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He'll be there again this year if he continues to stay within himself. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Really deceptive changeup there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. And he fouls this one off. Turner, a native Floridian, who was selected in the first round during the 2014 draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. And there to take it in is Gordon for round number two. Batting third, the right fielder number two. And now Bryce Harper. First Bryce chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses low and away, ball one. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against him. Get him to fish a little bit. Some... And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. And now the Royals get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Max Scherzer gets the starting assignment for the Nats in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Max Scherzer. Hello, Chief. It's Max, and it's not Agent 99. This is one of the best pitchers in the game of baseball. Upper to mid 90s fastball, powerhouse slider, and a great changeup. If he brings his A game, it's lights out for the opposing team. And the plate, Kenny Lofton. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Sky down the left field line. On the move is Taylor. One away. And with that, here's a look at the hometown Royals starting lineup card. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matty, you look at this lineup. The key to success is scoring early, putting the other team on their heels and allowing their own pitcher to go out there and feel like he can execute his game plan and attack and stay in the zone. This offense needs to get on the board. First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Turner shading to his right. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting third, center fielder. So bases are empty Ripley here with two Junior. gone, and here comes Junior. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Splash landing, it's into the fountains for a monster home run. 
A solo shot for Junior. And the Royals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter a run or two early in the game. And he does just that. Blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. In now, Reggie Jackson looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The wind-up and the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. But the Royals are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and KC's off and running. It's one to nothing. Stepping in, Anthony Rendon. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch of the at bat. Rendon. That's a ball. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a real treat today, guys. What can we expect from the matchup? Well, Matty, these are two guys that aren't hard throwers. They're more touchy-feely guys. Hard, soft, up, down, in and out, D-Row. And these are the kind of guys that can really frustrate you when you're in that batter's box. 100%, Dan. When you got a flamethrower on the mound, he's going to live and die with his good stuff. But when you got a finesse guy out there, you step out of the box, and a lot of different thoughts start entering your mind. What should I sit on? This is going to be an interesting matchup. Hit down the line at first. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's oh, one it. and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 oh, 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Not exactly. First Here's Ryan Zimmerman Ryan. now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This is in the air out to straightaway center. And Junior will make the catch, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. It remains 1 0. Stepping into the box, Mike Piazza, as they'll have 5, 6, and 7 here to start the home half of the second. Mike Piazza. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Sliders in for a strike. Piazza, a native Pennsylvanian. This is his first year at the big league level. Yeah, he has seen it all. I don't know if he's old school, new school, middle school, whatever the case may be. He's seen an influx of all different types of players, all different mindsets, how to hit, how to pitch. This guy has officially seen it all. So here's how the Washington Nationals are positioned defensively. And let's take a look at Michael Taylor. The ability again to play center field both corners to go get the balls in both gaps and have a strong arm. First delivery to him on the way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Turner loves it on the first and Scherzer's on a roll now two away. Batting seven. Second baseman. Roberto so next to the plate Alomar. for the Royals. Roberto Alomar. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Here comes Scherzer on 0 and 2. Pulled toward right center field. Eaton is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Royals go down one, two, three. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. And welcome back to this MLB Network broadcast from Kansas City as we get a nice shot of downtown there. Here's Matt Adams now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The wind up and the 0 1. 
And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left-handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day, or is he going to drive the ball the other way? Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So stepping in, Matt Wieters. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Weeders awaits the 0 1. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Striding in, Michael Taylor. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. I mean the obvious key right now is the movement on his two seamer. He's able to spot it up in when he has to and he's able to go back door. Into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch. Three. Right three called and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They trail this one, one to nothing. So coming to the plate, Paul Molitor, and he'll lead things Leading off against Max Scherzer. First baseman, Paul Molitor. First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0 and 1 delivery. And it's fouled away. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the Royals have their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you could swing the bat. The 0 1 pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. High in the air into shallow left center. Turner onto the grass. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now with the play, Kenny Lofton. He flew out in his last at bat. Kenny Lofton. First pitch on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Taylor is there. Two gone. Stepping up now, Wade Bob. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Scherzer comes set. Here's his offering. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Coming in on it is Eaton. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Royals leave one, but they hold a 1-0 lead. In now is Adam Eaton. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. 
Well, we've seen a lot of guys swinging at pitches out of the strike zone early on in this game. So I think the game plan on that pitch right there was to try to bounce one and try to get them to chase again. Got him swinging on the oh, fastball man. there. Adam Eaton goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Gordon is there, makes the play, and there are two gone now. So two are gone now in the Nationals' fourth, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a curveball that time that broke too low. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Three and one. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Hard around first is Harper racing for second. And he is in the second with a two-out double. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. So here's the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rendon, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now the 1-0 is looked at for ball number two. That was a non-competitive pitch right there, and he finds himself behind 2-0 in this situation. He's going to have to locate something down the zone. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Ken Griffey will get his cuts leading off the next half inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Royals lead it 1-0. Digging in, Ken Griffey Jr. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Popped him up. Weeders over to his right. One away. The right fielder, number nine. Digging in now for Kansas City, Reggie Jackson. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. Over the bullpen and into the stands. That's one long home run. Well, that pitch was grooved right down Main Street. He couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Stepping in now, Mike Piazza. Mike Piazza. Now another one hit deep to left. Looking up is Taylor. Gone! Back to back jacks on back. To back pitches. So a solo shot off the bat of Mike Piazza. And the Royals have moved out to a three to nothing lead. Well, that was this lineup's third homer of the game. Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Roll, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. You know, D-Roll, as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're talking to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. 
And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter's smiling, running down first base, knowing he's got an infield single right there. He has no business. He'll line out probably 15 times, but it won't even out. You take him when you can get him. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Still no balls and two strikes. Banks leads off first with one away. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Harper, still going back. Out of here, into the visitor's bullpen. A two-run blast to straightaway right field, and the Royals have opened this up now to 5 nothing. Standing in now, Paul Molitor. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Zimmerman is over now, and he's got it for route number two. The left fielder, number four. Alex. Stepping in, Alex Gordon. Gordon. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Scherzer looks in. 0 2 on its way. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So four runs in the inning, but of note there was that they came on the strength of three home runs. We played four full. Royals out in front, five to nothing. In now is Anthony Rendon. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. We were expecting a pitcher's duel today, but this one's turned into a bit of a lopsided contest so far. Yeah, Dan, here's what you fall into, though. If you're going to be a finesse pitcher, you can't leave balls over the heart of the plate or they do not come back. A lot of guys stepping in the batter's box right now with a ton of confidence. No doubt about it, Debra. We've seen one pitcher on point, one guy not on point, and the guy that's not been, he's having a rough go of it this afternoon. 2 2 pitch is fouled away. Another 2 2 offering. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Ready for another chance? Daniel Murphy. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First pitch coming, here it is. That's popped up. Alomar ranging into shallow right. He's there and records the first down. How about it? Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. Man, that's a nice job by the batter right there, keeping the front side in. Not easy on a curveball. Would have been easy to throw the front side and hook that foul, but he was able to stay inside and drive it for a base hit. Here's Matt Adams now. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here's the 0 and 2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready with another 0 2. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. And there to take it in is Gordon for route number 2. 
digging in for his second at bat. Matt Wieters. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. This is on the ground over to first. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Nats leave a pair. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Now batting Kenny Lofton. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Designated hitter, Kenny Lofton. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. Sure took a healthy hack that time. Yeah, and I don't understand that approach at all, Matty. He's not really known for having a whole lot of pop in his bat, but he is known for having really good speed, so personally, I'd much rather see him with a controlled swing and try to put the ball in play. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Here's the Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Standing in, Ken Griffey Jr. comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Turner is underneath this one. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. Royals go down on just four pitches as they're unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. Stepping up to the plate, Michael Taylor. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Oh, and he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. There to get it is Junior, and that's the first out. Center field. In now is Adam Eaton. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Popped him up. Barnes is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. No hits to this point. First offering on its way. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well, and one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. Chopped weakly to the left. Gonna be a tough play. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Ready for another shot now. Reggie Jackson he went deep last Royals. time up. Right fielder. Reggie Jackson. Now here's the pitch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Eaton going back. And it's gone as they add still another. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second of the game. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Matt Grace gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Now batting, catcher, Mike. Piazza. Into the box now, Mike Piazza. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Eaton is under it. Makes the play one away. Settling in now, Bernie Banks. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And it clears the stands. Wow, that landed on the patio out there. Solo shot here to left as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Guys, you believe what we're seeing here today? With six home runs so far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the ages at the plate. Yeah, Matt, you know what, Gee, what we got up this morning for this day game here, we were expecting a high-scoring game, but boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league, they definitely will tell you they see the ball better at, in the daytime than they do at night. Case in point today, ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups. The 0-1. Hit on the ground out to short. Kruger fields it cleanly, and there are two away now. Digging in, Paul Molitor. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. And Rendon will look this one in to retire the side. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We're through six full. KC leads this one seven to nothing. Back here at Kauffman Stadium here in Kansas City. Royals leading this one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do so, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Here's Bryce Harper now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. They haven't gotten much going against this guy so far in this one. He's been pitching well. And one of the key numbers to look at, first pitch strikes over 70% so far in this outing. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's the one and two delivery. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off wall. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Riding in now for the Nats, Anthony Rendon. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Popped him up. And that's going to land foul. You can't allow this offense to get going right here. Leadoff man on doesn't kill us. Let's try and roll a double play right here. Let's execute a good pitch down and away. See if we can get a ground ball and rely on your defense a little bit. Boggs battles the sun a bit, but has it for round number one. Here comes the first pitch. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Gordon is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now at the plate, Ryan Zimmerman. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He's set and the pitch. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. 
breaking ball stays high. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. In time as he just gets the tag down. We'll see Alex Gordon to start things out when we come back. Getting late. Stretch time now in Kansas City. The Royals lead it 7 to nothing. Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Alex Gordon. First pitch of the at bat. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Kenny Lofton. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard towards center. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Here's the Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. Line drive base hit. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that O.O. pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too mad. Into the box, Ken Griffey Jr. As he hits one on a line to left field. That's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Devo, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Stepping in now, Reggie Jackson. Back up the middle. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. He's starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Needed a good performance from their ace today, but unfortunately for them, they didn't get it. Yeah, Dero, this is one of those where it was almost over before it started. You know, this, this is what happens when you're a controlled type pitcher. If you're not around the corners and around the knees, you start getting balls up in the strike zone, and he paid the price today. Yeah, hu huge confidence boost for this offense, though. To face this guy, they knew they had to stay back. They couldn't be over-aggressive against him. He likes to move the ball in and out and do different things. Tip of the cap to this offense. A high fastball is in there. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sinking fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. Ready now, Matt Wieters. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Lifted in the air to center. Griffey is there, two gone. So digging in now, Michael Taylor, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Adams stands at second with two gone. 
and a curveball that gets a swing and a miss and makes him look way behind. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Nationals leave one. They're down by a touchdown, 7-0. At the plate, Mike Piazza has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Mike Piazza. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Solo shot here to left, his second home run of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. Now batting the shortstop, Ernie Banks. Standing in now, Ernie Banks. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left. shot here to left is second of the game as they push this lead up to nine now now that second baseman Roberto in now Roberto Alomar here's another one that's drilled this one to left back goes Taylor at the track the wall See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as this lead got even wider. This pitcher must think he's cursed or something. He gives up back-to-back -back homers, is obviously rattled a little bit, and the next batter barely even waits for the first pitch to cross the plate before he crushes it out, too. This is incredible. Oh! Into the box, Paul Molitor. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Looking up is Taylor. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo home run there for Paul Molitor as they just continue to pour it on here. What an awesome moment for this team right here. That's the fourth home run in a row. There's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are chomping at the bit to get up at the plate. The left fielder number four, Alex Gordon. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. D-Roy, it can't be better said. I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two strike pitch no get me over curveballs no get me over change ups every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose Eaton is there now and he has it two gone How about it? riding in once hey, again hey, hey, hey. Wade Bob last time through was a base hit Here's the first pitch to him. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Taylor is there, and that retires the side. So something you don't see very often, four runs on four hits with all of them coming as solo home runs. We've played eight full. Royals out in front, 11 to nothing.
in now is Adam Eaton. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. So striding forward now, Trey Turner. He was a ground down victim last time up. Little dribbler down the line. But it's foul, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And it's gone! Ray Turner with a solo shot but that'll do little more than make a dent in this big deficit. Yeah all things considered it's been a day to forget for them. So this homer will be a welcome to everyone in that dugout. Maybe this gives them a little momentum going into the next game. Bryce Harper comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Well hit but right into the teeth of the ship. On the first, and now the Nationals are down to their final out here. Into the box now, Anthony Rendon. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball just a bit up. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch. To and he gets strike three call to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Well, he was gunning for a complete game shutout, but it just wasn't in the cards here. But anytime you can go nine innings and give up only one single run, you've done pretty good for yourself and your team. 11 to 1 at the end of this one. Kansas City will be the talk of the game after this one, having launched 10 balls over the wall in total. Oral Kershiser is the winning pitcher of record. Max Scherzer permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Our final line score this afternoon, first look at the story of Kansas City North. 11 runs, 15 hits. No errors. They left four men on base. National, one run, five hits. No errors. They left five men on base.